together right now around the world, Lord, seeking your face together, Lord, where two or more are gathered in your name. You are in the midst, Lord. And right now, we just say thank you right now. Thank you in advance for all the ways you're moving right now through this fellowship, touching everyone who can hear my voice live archive, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for carrying us through the storm, Lord. Thank you for carrying us over the storm. Thank you for carrying us through whatever we're facing, Lord. Because we know it's too big for us, Lord. We know it's too big for us, Lord. So we give it all to you, Lord. We give it all to you and say, carry me, Lord, the dancer. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lord. The reason today is called Power Prayers, Scriptures, and Confessions is today the Holy Spirit led me to read several passages from our prayer booklet. And some you don't have in the prayer booklet that I'll share with you afterwards. But today will be a, a mini nugget because the Holy Spirit says a lot of people are going through some heavy stuff right now. As I watch the different prayer requests each day, a lot of fellowship members are going through some challenges some heavy stuff right now so today's lesson on power prayers scriptures and confessions will be a mini nugget so you can pray it at any time to re-energize yourself refill yourself with the word of god and prayers and confessions to be able to slap the devil down and rebuke him bind him and cast him out at every turn so, Father God, right now, as we rest in your presence, Lord, 
We cast all our care on you right now, Lord. Have your way right now, Lord. Have your way right now. You are the potter. We are the clay. Mold us, Lord. Mold us into what you need us to be today, Lord. Every day, Lord. Every day, have your way. And right now, we humbly bow, Lord. We humbly bow in your presence and say, use me, Lord. Use me as you see fit for the kingdom, Lord. As we give it all to you, Lord. We give it all to you right now. We lay everything on the altar right now. Everything that is not like you. And once we lay it on the altar, we let go. Let go and let God do what he does best. For you, Lord, are the burden remover, the yoke destroyer, the way maker, the miracle worker, the mountain mover, the great physician, the strong tower in each of our lives whose hand we never let go. We never ever, Lord, we never ever let go of your unchanging hand. You're the same yesterday, today, forevermore. You are the air we breathe. As a deer panted for the water, so our soul longs after you, Lord, every day, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, yes, Lord. We give it up to you right now, Lord. We give it all up to you right now. Because in your eyes, Lord, I want to be pleasing in your sight. In your eyes, I want you to say, well done, my good and faithful servant, in your eyes.
Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. God. Praise your name, Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Praise your name right now, Father God. Praise your name right now, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The daily power confession. Thank you, Lord, right now for blessing this reading, Lord. If we now confess the things in our lives as we give our care to you, Lord, Lord, we humbly come into your presence right now, seeking your face and a closer walk with you. Because we know Hebrews 11 6, without faith, it is impossible to please you, Lord. And those who come to you must believe that you are. And you are a rewarder to those who diligently seek you. We believe, 2 Timothy 3.16, that all scripture is inspired by you, Lord, and profitable for teaching, 
for reproof and correction, for training in righteousness. We believe, Philippians 4.19, that you shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory for Christ Jesus. And Psalm 23.1, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. We believe, 1 John 4.4, 4, that greater is he who is in me than he was in the world. We believe Matthew 19, 26, with you, O Lord, all things are possible. We believe Philippians 4, 13, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We no longer walk, we no longer walk in fear because we know 2 Timothy 1, 7, that you did not create a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. In obedience to Exodus 14, 13, 14, we have no fear and stand still so we can see the salvation of the Lord. You, O Lord, will fight for us and we shall hold our peace. Isaiah 26, 3, you shall keep us in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you, Lord, because we trust you, Lord. Trust with all our heart and lean not to our own understanding in all our ways. We acknowledge you, Lord, and know that you will direct our path. You said in Hebrews 13, 5, you will never leave me nor forsake me. In Matthew 28, 20, you'll be with me even to the end of the age. Hallelujah. So with you, O oh Lord, we are never alone in this world. Thank you, Jesus. Isaiah 54, 17, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. In every tongue that rises against me in judgment, I shall condemn because I know who I am in Christ. There is power in the name of Jesus, power in the blood of Jesus. As it is written in Philippians 2, 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow for those in heaven and of those on earth and those under the earth. I put on the whole armor of God, Ephesians 6, 11, that I will be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. I walk in authority in Luke 10, 19, to trample over serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me. I know I have Psalm 91 protection because I abide in the secret place of the Most High, that I would dwell under the shadow of the Almighty. Glory to God. I am obedient to Jeremiah 33, 3, to call upon you, O Lord, so you can show me great and mighty things that I do not know. Ephesians 3, 20, now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ask or think according to the power that works in me. Now boldly speak your word over every challenge, every fear, every worry, every debt, every infirmity, over any and every enemy in obedience to Matthew 4, 4. That man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. So, Lord, we thank you right now for victory in every area of our life, Lord, because we walk in your will and we walk in your way the best we can, Lord, knowing that Jesus Christ is the only way to victory in our life from this day forward. All these things we ask in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
God is real. And no matter what the attack is you're going through right now, financially, physically, through work, through family, through memories, whatever the attack, we will not be defeated. This next confession is the power confession. The power confession, I will not be defeated. Both of these confessions will be shared with you later where to find them for yourself to read every day under whatever attack. I will not be defeated. I am a child of God. I am not defeated. With you, O oh Lord, I will never be defeated. The joy of the Lord is my strength. In the midst of turmoil, I will not be defeated. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I will not be defeated. God, you said in your word, call me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. I will not be defeated. For I look not at things that are seen, but at things that are not seen. For things that are seen are temporary, while things that are not seen are eternal. I will not be defeated. Casting all my care on you, Lord. If you care for me, you, O oh Lord, shall supply all my need according to your riches in glory. But Christ Jesus, I will not be defeated. God not create a spirit of fear, but of love, power, and a sound mind. And now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all, I can ask or think according to the power that works in me. I will not be defeated. In Jesus' name, I bind every negative spirit, named unnamed, including the spirits of fear, depression, destruction, anxiety, suicide, anger. I cast them away right now. I bind them. I rebuke them, bind them, and cast them away from my presence into the abyss. In the name of Jesus, I loose every positive spirit into my life, named unnamed including the spirits of joy, happiness, prosperity, healing, empowerment, courage, boldness, and victorious living. And I thank you, Lord, for your goodness and your mercy. I will walk in victory over every single challenge I have been dealing with this day. In the name of Jesus, I will not be defeated because I am a child of God and I will let your light shine through me everywhere I go in the name of Jesus I decree and declare that this confession of victory is already in motion in my life because as I prayed it I believed it I received it according to your word in Matthew eleven twenty four. 24 thank you Lord for my deliverance healing Financial breakthrough in the name of Jesus, I will not be defeated. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. More and more, Lord. We need you more and more, Lord. More peace. More joy, more anointing, more presence, more, Lord, more and more and more. Thank you, Jesus.
conqueror's prayer. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me, God's eye to look before me, God's ear to hear me, God's word to speak for me, God's hand to guard me, God's way to lie before me, God's shield to protect me, God's host to save me from the snares of devils, from temptations of vices, from everyone who shall wish me ill, afar and a knee, a near, alone and in multitude. I summon all these powers between me and those evils against every cruel, merciless power that may oppose my body and soul, against incantations of false prophets, against black laws of pagandom, against false laws of heretics, against craft of idolatry, against spells of witches, smiths, and wizards, against every knowledge that corrupts man's body and soul. Christ to shield me today against poison, against burning, against drowning, against wounding, so that there may come to me an abundance of reward. Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right hand, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I sit down, Christ when I arise, Christ in the heart of every man who thinks of me, Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me, Christ in every eye that sees me, Christ in every ear that hears me. I arise today through a mighty strength, the invocation of the Trinity, through belief in the threeness, through confession of the oneness of the creator of creation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Calvary. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I am there. Do you need me? I am there. You cannot see me, yet I am in the light you see by. You cannot hear me, yet I speak through your voice. You cannot feel me, yet I am the power at work in your hands. I am at work, though you do not understand my ways. I am at work, though you do not recognize my works. I am not strange visions. I am not mysteries. Only in absolute stillness, beyond self, can you know me as I am. But then as a feeling and a faith. Yet I am there. Yet I hear. Yet I answer. When you need me, I am there. Even if you deny me, I am there. Even when you feel most alone, I am there. Even in your fears, I am there. Even in your pain, I am there. I am there when you pray, and I am there when you do not pray. I am in you, and you are in me. Only in your mind can you feel separate from me. For only in your mind are the midst of yours and mine. Yet only with your mind can you know me and experience me. Empty your heart of empty fears. When you get yourself out the way, I am there. You can do nothing, but I can do all. And I am in all. Though you may not see the good, good is there. For I am there. I am there because I have to be. Because I am. Only in me does the world have meaning. Only out of me does the world take form. Only because of me does the world go forward. I am in the law on which the movement of the stars and the growth of living cells are founded. I am the love that is the law's fulfilling. I am assurance. I am peace. I am oneness. I am the law that you can live by. I am the love you can cling to. I am your assurance. I am your peace. I am one with you. I am. Though you fail to find me, I do not fail you. Though your faith in me is unsure, my faith in you never wavers. Because I know, I know you. Because I love you. Beloved, I am there. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It's just you and me, Lord. It's just you and me, Lord. And nobody else. Only you, Lord, can give me the peace I seek. The joy I need to find. Just you and me, Lord. Just you and me.
for blessing everyone in this fellowship right now. We thank you for this beautiful hour of prayer. Coming in prayer for one hour with you, Lord. One hour with your word. One hour with scriptures and confessions, Lord. Basking in your presence. Basking in your anointing. Laying everything on the altar and leaving it on the altar because we trust you Lord we trust you Lord and we thank you right now for the victory that's taking, that's taking place right now in each fellowship member's life right now because you know Lord what's on our heart Lord you know what each person listening is going through right now in their personal life Lord and you're already there Lord you're already there before we open our mouth you are already there thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus Lord we give you every thought right now Lord we lift up every thought that's not like you right now I give it to you give it to him right now every thought that's not like God let it go give it to the Lord every care we give to you, Lord, right now. We give you every care, every worry, every fear, every anxiety, every struggle, every stress, everything. We cast all our care on you, Lord. 
for you care for each one of us here right now, live or archive, wherever we are in the world, Lord. We thank you right now, Lord, for your touch. We thank you for our healing, for breakthrough, for deliverance. Oh, Lord. We inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. With God, all things are possible. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. Greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world. Inhale the breath of life. Exhale the word of God. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love the Lord, who are called according to his purpose. And right now, Father God, we feel the weight lifting, Lord. We feel the weight lifting right now. Breakthrough happening right now, Lord. Breakthrough is happening right now in Jesus' name. Breakthrough. Supernatural healing is taking place right now in Jesus' name. Soul ties are being broken right now in Jesus' name. Family curses broken right now in Jesus' name. We thank you right now, Lord, for your supernatural touch right now, moving through this fellowship in whatever the need is. We thank you in advance, Lord, because when we pray, we believe we have received it and know that we shall have it. We say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And right now, Lord, we can rest. We can rest because we gave it all to you, Lord. On this beautiful Thursday, we gave it all to you right now. And now we trust you, Lord. We give it to you, and now we trust, and we thank you. We trust, and we thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Those who wait on the Lord gain new strength. Those who wait on the Lord gain strength Isaiah 40 31 so father God we hold on to your promises Lord we hold on to your promises and we commit Lord we commit to be doers of the word and not hearers only Lord because the blessings are in the doing blessings are in the doing the word the miracles are in the doing the word thank you Jesus hallelujah hallelujah Peace be still. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. In the 
And now we go in the intercessory prayer. Now that we've been filled and rejuvenated, now we pray for each other. You've been praying by yourself, and now you wish for the fellowship to pray in agreement with your prayer. Please put a request on the screen right now. For those who are working or driving and you cannot type, just speak a prayer request. God hears every prayer. And right now, we as a fellowship are standing in agreement with every prayer going up right now, live or archived, on the screen or off the screen. Please do this now.
we thank you right now, Lord, for moving mightily over all these prayer requests, Lord. Where two or more are gathered in your name, you are in the midst, Lord. And right now, we as a fellowship stand in agreement with all these prayer requests, Lord. And decree and declare all these prayer requests shall come to pass. The fervent prayers of the righteous avails much. Hear our prayer, O Lord. And Father God, as we continue to come together six days a week as a fellowship, Lord, together daily, we pray for supernatural healing, especially during the pandemic, Lord. We pray for peace, for justice, for change. We pray, Lord, for you to continue to wave your mighty hand over the spirits of division, rebellion, and racism. To continue to uproot the grip of racism, not only in our nation, but in the world. As we commit to humble ourselves, pray, seek your face, turn from our wicked ways. So you will hear from heaven, forgive our sins, and heal our land. All these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Before we close, as always, before we close, I always know someone is watching or listening who doesn't understand the praise and the worship, the worldwide fellowship. So right now I'm going into the closing prayers, the prayer of salvation and the closing prayers. As always, please no typing until after the closing prayers. Anything typed during the closing prayers is deleted out of respect for the Holy Spirit, amen? Right now I'm talking to the person listening or watching you've been here the whole time you heard the jazz praise and the worship and the love of our fellowship around the world but right now you're not connected because you've been crying for over two hours because right now your life is falling apart worry fear stress anxiety is all over you hopelessness families turned away from you friends stabbing you in the back and you may even feel suicidal right now yet somehow you find yourself on this channel have no idea how you got here and that's because God brought you here you are not here by accident God brought you here because he sees what you're going through right now physically or spiritually or emotionally that's why you're here you may be here as a backslider in guilt. For whatever reason, you chose to leave God and go back to a life of sin. And now your life is falling apart because you went back into the devil's world. And now the devil is telling you, once you leave or fail God, you could never go back. And that right there is a lie from the pit of hell. No one is perfect. All have fallen short. So if you said a prayer of salvation and you fell back into a life of sin, there is nothing the devil can do to take away your salvation. Just recommit. Rededicate your life to Christ and there's nothing the devil can do to stop you. So whether you're walking in depression and hopelessness or you're walking as a backslider and you want to come back to the Lord, pray with me right now. Repeat after me. Father God, forgive me for the wrong I've done and the wrong I've been. I believe Jesus is the Son of God. I believe he died on the cross for me and my sins and was raised from the dead. I want Jesus to be Lord and Savior of my life. And I commit right now, I will not do a single thing in life or make a single decision in life 
without lifting up to you first, Lord. Create in me, O oh Lord, a clean heart and remove from me anything and everything that is not like you in Jesus' name. And if you said that prayer sincerely, your spirit is not right to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a part of God that lives inside of us, that teaches us, that guides us, and also convicts us when you're not walking God's will. The Holy Spirit will show you people, activities, and things you're doing right now in your life, which is bringing darkness into your life. And then he'll tell you exactly what you need to do to reverse it. First of all, spend time with God every day. Not just every Sunday, every day spend time with God. Feed your spirit, starve your flesh. Feed your faith, starve your doubt every day. And the more time you spend with God every day, the more peace of mind you'll feel in your life. Which is God letting you know it's going to be all right. God's got this. God's got you. Right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus, we as a fellowship rebuke and bind the spirit of retribution, revenge, retaliation, backlash, and every other demonic spirit, named or unnamed, seen or unseen, who may try to attack anyone in this fellowship because of their participation in this fellowship. We cast all you demonic spirits out of our mind, out of our spirit, out of our homes, out of our kids, out of our marriages, back to the pit of hell from which you all came in Jesus' name. And Father God, loose, Lord, loose into the fellowship, unspeakable joy, loose peace beyond understanding, loose restoration, Lord, restore every area of our life, Lord. Loose reconciliation, Lord, bring reconciliation to marriages and families right now who are falling apart because of the devil attack, Lord. And Lord, please keep your hedge of protection over all the families and marriages who are not falling apart, but who the devil is still attacking every day, Lord. Loose supernatural healing, Lord, physical healing, spiritual healing, emotional healing. By your stripes, we were healed, Lord. And every day, Lord, every day we confess it. I believe I receive my healing every day. Thank him and confess it. I thank you, Jesus. I believe I receive my healing. See it, receive it, exit, expect it. Pray as if your life depends on it. P-U-S-H, pray until something happens. Loose, supernatural, supernatural overflow, financial breakthrough, supernatural debt cancellation. Lord, let your blessings, Lord, let your blessings of abundance rain down, Lord. Rain down on the fellowship's air financial need, whatever it is, Lord. For you shall supply all our need according to your riches in glory. In Christ Jesus, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. I shall not want for anything when the Lord is my shepherd. For we're the head and not the tail. We're above and not beneath. We're the lender and not the borrower. We're blessed going in and blessed going out. We're blessed that we may be blessing the others. We are out of debt. All of our needs are met. We have plenty more to put in store. We are truly God and nothing shall by any means hurt us or block our blessings in any way. And finally, Lord, we thank you for a miracle, Lord. We thank you for our miracle. Each person here has a miracle they're praying for right now. And now we know, Lord, now we know every day to take time, every day to see it. Take time every day to see your miracle, visualize it, see it, believe it, and receive in your heart. And as you receive it in your heart, expect it. Expect your miracle every day. We don't know the when. We'll never know the exact when. But... Because we don't know when, that means any day you wake up, any day, could be the day of the manifestation of the miracle you're praying for right now. May the Lord bless you and keep your family. May the Lord make his face shine upon you, be gracious unto you. 
May Lord lift his countenance when you give you peace. That you may be a blessing to every you touch and speak to. A blessing to everyone you pray over. A blessing to everyone you pass by and bless. When I I'll open your mouth because the love and light of the Lord is all over you. 24-7, 365, include leap year. So Father God, all these things we ask, Lord, all these things we ask. In Jesus' name we pray. Let the fellowship say amen. Amen. Amen.